today we're going to be looking at an introduction to RAD data filter, part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight and RAD controls for WPF control suites. RAD data filter is a new control that allows you to quickly and easily perform complex filter operations on any type of data collection. This will provide your end users with a new level of control over their data, as you can easily switch parameters and filter descriptors and see instant updates to controls bound to the filtered collection on RAD data filter. Also, since this control shares a common code base and API between RAD controls for Silverlight and RAD controls for WPF control suites, you can easily use it across any flavor of XAML application you are developing. We'll start by looking at RAD data filter in our online Silverlight demos. So first, we're going to click on Browse Controls, and then up in the Data section, we're going to click on Data Filter, and we'll check out the first look demo. So we can see here that we have a RAD grid view at the bottom of the screen, and then a RAD data filter at the top. So we want to add a few filter parameters to get a better look at this data. So we'll start with quantity, it's the first value they give us, and we'll say we want to see everything with quantity greater than, say, 20, and less than, well, looking at the numbers, we see there's some 90s, so we'll say less than 70. As soon as we type it in, we get instant results in the RAD grid view, and you can especially see this from the size of the scroll bar, because there's not many items left here. So we'll want to add another parameter, except this time we want to spice it up a little and add a split parameter, where we can do AND or OR for these, just like we can do up here. But here we'll want to go by unit price. So we'll switch both of these to unit price, and we'll say first we want unit price, looking at the prices we have, we see a 13, we'll roll that one out immediately. So we'll say we want it to be greater than 20. Instantly, we got rid of that 13, but now we see some really high unit prices, so we'll rule out the ones that are less than, and we'll say here we want 700. So now we have everything that is quantity greater than 20, less than 70, and unit prices greater than 20 and less than 700. Now, this is attached to a control like RAD Grid View, but imagine any data bound control can link up to RAD Data Filter, meaning you can perform this type of complex filtering operation on any data bound control. Let's also take a quick look at the data filter editors that you have available. So first we have a number of different values, starting with a string, where you can do contains and normal string operations, order date, where we have date time, quantity is an integer, unit price is a double, and you can see that reflected, and discontinued is boolean, so you really only have two options. But that's not where it stops. You can additionally use custom filter editors, which we can see here, to see another option for how you want to display your data. Because maybe you don't want to give people the option to type what they want in for a string field, so you can provide a drop-down with all the different kind of values that you have available. Maybe you want to provide a custom date picker, so you're only picking time rather than date. Maybe you want to provide a slider for quantity, so that you can move the slider and see the effects instantly rather than having to type in numbers. These are just a few of the possibilities with RAD Data Filter, but you can start to see how you can utilize this, not just for grids, but for any data bound control. So as you can see, RAD Data Filter allows you to quickly and easily build complex filter expressions in a breeze. Stay tuned for more videos on different uses of RAD Data Filter and how you can incorporate this powerful new control in your Silverlight and WPF applications today.